Hello, hello people, what is going on? I'm Envy Media Nerd and this is episode 30 of The Witcher 3. This episode, we're going to turn into a treasure hunter. We're going to get through some of these treasure hunter contracts, try to see if we could get better armor, better loot for our character, and then we can progress forward in the story. Do we get involved in any more trouble? You have to watch the rest of this episode to wait and see. And if you like anything that you do see in this episode, please do leave any opinions and comments in the comment section below. Share this with your friends. Mm -hmm. Follow the channel if you're new. Not only that, follow me on Twitch at Envy Media Nerd. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Look there, crew! Wait here's returned! What brings you to us? Got nails and twine for you. What? Oh, yes, finally. Poor Willem's here. We'll stay put. Got nails and twine for you. What? Oh, yes, finally. Poor Willem's here. We'll stay put. I should go. Fare you well. Look there, crew! Wait here's returned! What brings you to us? I killed the giant. Killed him? Did what my whole crew couldn't? Hear that, lads? Are you not ashamed? When you're done talking to yourself, sail back to Ard Skellig with me. Your people have found shelter there, and you're still their leader. Oh, aye. They can come back now. Look alive, crew. We've got a hurry. Got a finisher? Oh, she'll be a lovely vessel. Perfect for a funeral. Look there, crew. Whitehair's returned. What brings you to us? I should go. Fair. What do we have here? Just so many coins. Uh, inventory. Finally, a sword stronger than the one I have. I let you get spin them up. Yeah, 
behave. Behave. Goodbye. All the things that we be needed for. Got to the cell cap here. Another sort. Not so fast, Roach. The sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. Huh. Why are you here then? Don't look like warriors to me. More like shepherds. Every Skelliger's a warrior. Even him born in a sheep shack. But we don't expect you to understand. Every man's a thrall on the continent. Cringing afore his master like a mongrel whining for scraps beneath the table. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. 
your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me dad, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. Now you remember this, stranger. This here's not Ker Trolda, and we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to continentals. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome. As is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Elberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely, so we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikjell, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do us much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. What to be said. Did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the lightkeeper? Jorand from Aaron Bjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when. From nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. 
Then the ghost showed, came straight at me, bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name, Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the wraith, big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. This wraith, the big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Okay. Oh, let's get to this one. This lighthouse. How do you like that silver? Stations of ill will, focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikyol's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Phew, it's just you. Learn anything? Island's haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. But I'm the only one lives here, and I've hurt no one. Trouble not a soul. We'll come back to that later. Just now I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitent's invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could. I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, and come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this.
Did it work? It did. Still don't know what brought the penitent here, though. You'd best be careful. I'd gladly thank you with words and gold. It's just my coin pouch is empty. I know the feeling. So long. Entrance. Ah, oh, don't tell me about going through some cave now. Turn around. Good. That was quick. Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes, got it right here. Earned every last coin you did, and a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Have a beer. Got a taste for Skellige mead, Fagrin? It's not bad, thanks. Huh. Then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Thanks, Jorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. Come on, come closer. Hello. You're right. Some miserable shits. Stay calm. Get you a healer. No point. Pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood or too long. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Yorant, son of Sigvald. Her lived honorable. Died like a thug. The last thing about it. Speak, damn it, they're dead. That's the coroner's hand. Corey! Crocky! I'd but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line! Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. Ah. 
I killed the monster from the lighthouse, the beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman? That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. You underestimate me. Fine. Lead the way. Look at that, we're off to jail. Amazing. <laughs> Really? Jail? A whole day? I right. really? Just had to stop by that damn tavern. What, what is it? Can I go now? Like, seriously? I'm still here? Look at him cast his eyes about searching for an escape, but there ain't none to be found, <laughs> save for talking to old Simon. Look at him cast his eyes about searching for an escape, you, Drifter, but there ain't none to be found, save for talking to old Simon. Listen, I'm already in the mood now. Make our escape. I'm in that mood right now. Three years. Three, Three years, years now, you know what, the moment I get out of here. Like, if people in my way, that's gonna be. It's gonna be trouble. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to get leapt during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, aye. Right. Uh, come on. I think I'm hanging around with this nonsense. I'll get out of here. Let's go. My line dates back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gonna die. I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Exactly. Continue. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I don't remember sending for you. Tough. Wouldn't mind waiting if I had a free year or two. Sadly, I'm in a hurry. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you say to that? Fought to defend myself, and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ah, tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? Where are they, buddy? He insults me. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find you guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. You know I don't have that kind of coin. Unless those boys were a lot lighter than they looked. I'm well aware of that. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Yeah. Go home, Leif. Because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture. 
Though I'm guessing it doesn't come free. Tell me, Witcher. Have you any honor? I do. I paid life on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. It should be good. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Mm hmm. I mean, many tried to sell my name, and look, we've got this far, so. Didn't sell Kurt's in the giant slayer. See? Look at that. You're, everyone in this one. Here. What do you want? Want to talk to Blue Boy Lugos. <laughs> Hear that? He wants to talk to Lugos. What else, Vagrant? Care to plow Freya? Lugos is expecting me. Lead the way. The... Right. Come on. Why? I don't get it. Then stay here. Think it over. Bye. It's not even the way, is it? They say don't worry, I'll go. Know the last time I had a Continental on my ship? No. When I hauled prisoners from Velen to the slave market in Nazar. Now, tell me why you're here. Your father felt you could use a witcher's help. And I owe him a favor, so... Told him not to meddle. Told him I'd manage fine on my own. Maybe that's not entirely true. Cave of Dreams. Supposed to be a dangerous place. Mortally so. But that's my reason for going there. Fine, so be it, I take ya. Old man's like to throw a fit elsewise. Or he's about to go. You ready? What awaits us in the Cave of Dreams? Depends wholly on us, cause... Uh, I'll explain later. We can go. Wonderful. Is it far? Nah, our stones throw. Let's gather the lads and go in. We'll know soon if there's truth to the legends. Mm-hmm. Sure. Girls, these are the best warriors in me crew. They'll come with us. You know Yarolf, called the Wolverine? Good day. And this here's Uv Jabberjaw. Why is Uv so quiet? Cause he got no tongue. What him. happened? He lick a frozen blade? No. He tore it out cause he cursed King Brand while drunk. Lost his power to speak. But kept his honor. Interesting customs you got here. Before we head off, will you tell me about this cave? You could at least tell me what we might have to fight. Only you can know that. Elders say in the Cave of Dreams you face your greatest fears. Face what makes you wake up at night, screaming. Something that's already been, will be, or just might be. I do wonder what a monster slayer fears. But we've talked enough, lads. Swords in hand. Let's go! So like we're going to be facing lots of... What you call it? Ah, that's good. Lots of wild hunt people, so this is going to be fun. If there's one thing I'm not afraid of. 
So says the legend, and so we will do. What herbs are these? Mm, what that druid say? Hemlock, poppy, nightshade, and that chicky, no, uh, henbane. Oh boy, in for one hell of a ride. Fine, give him here. Take it, Oof. Yarl, eat up to the last grain. Feel no different. How about you, Oof? <laughs> You're asking a mute his opinion. You're feeling it, mate. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. Oh, oh, I'm leading the way. Okay. Ooh, okay. See it? The razorback. Clear up high. Ain't too big for a razorback. That's a blue. A blue? With that short of snout? Carbs have robbed you of your senses. Okay, well, interesting. <laughs> I see you're weary from the battle. Sit with me, son. Have some mead. Pray tell of your adventures. Thank you, my king. We... I shan't drink with you, old man. And I shan't call you king. Get off that throne while you've still strength in your decrepit bones. Oof. You can talk. I... I... I, I didn't... But I... <gasps> You insult me once more, old Jabberjaw. The first time I left you to punish yourself and retain your honor, but now... Now you'll die like a thrall and meals will eat your remains. Come on, man! Come on, come closer. Oh, my God. 
Couldn't clear my conscience. Let's go. Let's keep going. Years old. I've shown a hundred times since then that I. You pissed yourself before the whole village. The Yarl son. Ah, the shame. Should have punished you. You're a vision, a spectre. A vision of your dog, who you fear, because you know you don't live up to him. You know you disappoint him. I'm a better warrior than he ever was. Prove 
true, but it's not proper. That's the one to lie at home. Uh, is there a way I could get down there? Yep, the white hunt, aren't you? That's so cool. Get up, Garrett. You've paid your debt. You're a free man. Gonna tell your father what you faced in the Cave of Dreams? Of course I will. I've no fear of him, right? It was an honor to fight at your side. Farewell, Garrett.
All y'all got. Is that it? Is that all you got? Come on. There's that four and they all give it the big and top. What happened? It's like they just don't learn. So you guys are literally just here just to be nuisance. At this point, you're literally just here, just being annoying. Sorry, that's fine. Fatality.
what's going on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Got it? Piss off, or we'll fry you along with a fucking elf! There's a third way out of this situation. What was this about? Why did they want to burn you alive? They came to rob me. I refused to betray where I keep my valuables, so they brought in a cart full of firewood, barred me inside, and set fire to the thing. Probably counting on you being swayed. Though I doubt they would have let you live even if you talked. I've yet to thank you for your aid, Vatgern. My coin lies <laughs> concealed in a hollowed out stump behind the house. Take what you wish. It's dangerous to possess too much in these times. Thank you. Very well. Some people just don't learn. Twenty crowns. Sure. I think for sure this is not going to be quick, is it? Okay. Unless that was written backwards or whatever, I have no clue what that says. Yeah, hmm. Surprise, Sydney. What? Uh -huh. What's
puppies got their nest here. Oh, that's how I was doing. Right, that's that sorted. Okay, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please do leave any comments or opinions in the comment section below. Also, share this with your friends. And also, if you're new to the channel, follow me on Envy Media Nerd. And not only on YouTube, follow me on Twitch as well, at Envy Media Nerd. Where not only do I play games like The Witcher 3, but also play games like Crew 2, Warzone, Shoot Show 4, and many more games to come. So, thank you for watching. And until next time, I am out. Bye.